fans, I'm Brandon Scott. With me, the head coach of the Sudbury Wolves, Corey Stillman. Corey, we're in the offseason. How has that been for you? Well, it's a little long right now when you go back and you're watching the OHL championship going on and you see Ottawa still playing. It's, it still has that you want to play. We were close. Uh, obviously not good enough. They're a good team. So uh, we switch focus. We're getting ready for our rookie camp coming up here next week. Um, we have some young guys coming in the 03 birth years, 02s from last year, and we're looking for some people to come in and fill some holes that we have on our hockey club. Now, the Sudbury Wolves this past season, they finished with a 43-23-2 record. That's good for fourth in the East, second in the division. Was this a successful one for you? Uh, it was a successful season after last year having 17 wins. And it, sometimes it takes a, um, a year or two to build something. Uh, I think we, we jumped a little bit, fast forwarded, uh, bringing in Uko as a goaltender who was a big key in a lot, of the, a lot of those wins. But now we need to find a goalie who's going to replace him. And if we do that, the core group that we have here, uh, we've learned how to play defensively, how to score. And I think the biggest thing is, is we got into the second round of the playoffs and it's a learning experience for everyone. Now, uh, this team, it was really like a blue-collar team. It was by committee on our offense. Uh, who were some of these players that really jumped out in your mind that made large steps of improvement? We, we are a committee team. Uh, we, we went in and we brought in Adam Rzyska at the end of the season. Uh, but if we didn't have him, I don't think we would have had a guy in the top 50 in scoring. So uh, we came, we worked hard. Offensively, you look at a guy like Nolan Hutchison. Uh, scores 25 goals. Had a big second year, got used to the league. Uh, when he's playing hard and playing big, which he is such a big athlete, strong athlete, I think we're going to see more from him. I think he can continue to produce. I think there's more goals there the way he goes to the net. Uh, his roommate, Emmett Sorensis, comes in uh, the year before, barely played, and was a big part of our team. Maybe not offensively, but the physical aspect that he brings to the game. Uh, he broke his ankle or his leg, and, and we missed him playing against Ottawa. Uh, up front, uh, for first young, young guys too, you know, Qu Quinton went from, we all knew what he was going to be offensively, but I think uh, learning to play a 200-foot game, he developed this skill that he could dominate a hockey game. I think you look on the back end, of Jack Thompson comes in as a young kid, 16 years of age. Liam Ross did it the year before. It's tough to play in this league, but... As the season went on, him and Isaac Phillips, when you have injuries, have to play in the playoffs. And I think those guys did a great job also. Now you mentioned there uh, the one player on the team that every fan's following about, number 55, Quinton Byfield. He was named the Rookie of the Year. Uh, tell me, are we just scratching the surface of what to expect for this guy? I think we are. He, it's an honor. and It's a great achievement for him to win that. And, I think it's a step in the right direction for Quinton. He's, he's a big kid. Uh, for a 16-year-old to come into the league at 6'4", 210, uh, and still has room to fill out, I think as he comes back this summer, we're going to see a bigger kid. And I think we're going to see someone who can dominate this league. And, and for him is to, is to come back with a mindset that he, he wants to be the best, um, put the draft aside. Uh, it, it's, it's a hard year. Uh, everyone's thinking, can I be drafted? Where am I going to be drafted? I want to be this, I want to be that. If, if Quinton just comes in and plays this game, I think we're going to see a, a much better player next year. And you know what? Uh, he's going to have to lead our team. And finally, uh, is there anything that sticks out in your mind over this regular season? Um, I think just the way we played, I think as a team, uh, really stuck out to me. We. We talked about having a different hero every night and a different line step up. And when you look at it, we, we did. Uh, Shane Bullock, uh, you know, had a career year again that way. I think he's going to get better. The Hutchison, he comes in. We had a lot of players. Blake Murray scores 30 goals. So he's a 20-goal season, a 30-goal season. Uh, hopefully next year he can score, score 40. But you, you saw improvements from every player that we had. And as a coaching staff, when they go home, we say to get bigger, better, faster, stronger, smarter. And we did that after one year. Let's see what's going to happen next year. All this and more still to come. Our second part of the State of the Union where we get to talk about playoffs. Brandon Scott and Corey Stillman.